Uh, what do we do? What do we do? Let's go off him. Judy, once you feel better, let's go back. And we'll go back and off fingers too while we're at it. Oh, I definitely have to go kill some gonks to feel a little bit better about this. Oh, Sandra. Sandra Dorset. Holy crap. I. Let's go talk to Sandra Dorset. It's been 20 years. She wanted me to find some kind of a data shard for her. I think. Oh, I don't even. Mm. Oh, data bank. Right. I can't believe. Okay. Doesn't John- Johnny sees what I see, but doesn't he feel what I feel? If I feel shock, if I feel sad, why won't he just shut the hell up and- Just- no one's telling you to say anything, just- Shut up! Is that so much to ask for? V, a vehicle of mine went dark near your position. <laughs> Fine, keep an eye out. For unknown reasons, the coordinates came through corrupted, so I'm unable to determine the precise location. Yes, 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 I... Hidden the Lemain cab. Fine, we'll do it right now. After killing some gonks, I gotta feel... more balanced about this. But yeah, I do feel like... Oh, what? I'm not sure, actually. What was Evelyn thinking towards the end? Because, you know, she could have just been on the bed, but she went to the tub, so I feel like that was in consideration for Judy. Uh, it's really morbid to think about it like this, but you know, easier cleanup and all that. Uh, I wonder if she intended it though, fully intended it. Or maybe it was more supposed to be just self-harm, because that kind of stuff happens in the tub too, right? Again, for easier cleanup. Don't even know who these people are. Racketeer. It's a breach protocol. Oh, frick. Frickity frick. Give me an E9! Oh, no! I was trying to... I thought you could extend it by doing the same one over and over again. Oh, whatever. Why do I keep messing this up? Woo! The fire rate on this is pretty high. That's nice. But I gotta charge it up to fire it up. Uh, man, I don't even know what to say. I'm all sad now, too. Peter and Jotaro. Jotaro again? That weirdo? We're in NC. Finally, sending my people. No worries, give us a minute. Getting the merch ready to hand over. What do you need these tired and washed masses for anyway? Hmm? I mean, just saying, they've been here a week in these containers, not so fresh. Who the fuck asked for your opinion? Just saying is all. People! These are people! Any more unsolicited advice you want to share? Oh, maybe you know what to do with them better than I do, huh? Sorry, didn't mean to offend you. Oh, you think I'm offended? I'm sorry, really. Whatever for? Look, I don't want any trouble. We're here, waiting for your people, okay? Jim, I'm just messing with you. Chill. Sending my chums your way. Dude, Jotaro sounds like a really... One of those guys that are really annoying to work for because you don't know how they're feeling all the time. Oh, people! These are people! Wait! Well, there's people in here. How do I help them? Can I not open these? Oh. Thank you. Well, at least a few of them got away. Sorry, man, it came a little bit too late for you. 
Tracy Owens and Anna Owens. Mom, I need help. I think I've been kidnapped. Mom, please help me. What? Tracy, sweetheart, where are you? I don't know. Where were you when they took you? Anything will help, Trace. Tell me anything. I was at a party at Rachel's. I don't remember after that. I think I'm on a ship. I called the police, Trace. They're looking for you. I love you. No, I... No, I have to say the police weren't looking for you. Oh my god, this Jota... We already got him. But his effects on everybody around, especially in this area. What is this area, Kabuki? You can still feel it really strongly. Give me that. Hmm. Maybe seeing Delamain will make me feel a little bit better, but Sandra Dorset's right here. Sandra Dorset's data bank is right here. Don't think it'd be a good idea for me to um, jump out of the fence like that. If I keep going this way, can I eventually go down? Not so sure about this either. Oh, hey. Seven A B D fifty five. No B D. B D. Oh, I messed up. No, nope. we might have a chance here. If I yeah. jump over this, oh, oh my God. Come on, you can't tell me there's no mods for softening the landing. There's gotta be. It's gotta be. <laughs> this is not a smart idea. I'm doing it though. Oh no! Okay. Okay. Yeah! Double jump really coming in handy here. <gasps> Oops. We're fine. Who are you people? NCPD? Okay, won't mess with you. Mmm, we're back in the circle area. That's right. Wanna try eating some food? Consumables? No, I don't want just reducing my weapon speed and, you know, movement speed and weapon accuracy. Give me food. Food. Let me eat some of this. Whoa, this looks rotten. Ah. Introducing Alois Decan, a deadbeat with a pretentious name. Gonk broke my trust and skipped town. Well, fuck him. Only thing I care about now is the data he left in NC, specifically what's on his comp. Check the attachment, you'll see what to do. Are these in the same place? Seems like it might be. All about data. Alois the Queen. Alois, laptop? Corpo Mega Prick, who cheated me, and not only me. Everybody wants to get at this guy, he's dead. But I want his data pad, and the data on it. Our trader picked it up and fucked right out of NC so fast he left his gear in town. Just 20 minutes ago, I got a login ping from his computer. Head over there, grab the thing, and then we take advantage of this confused mess. Nobody here? No, that's a ripper dock, isn't it? I could go in. Open 24 hours. Okay, we're already in a hostile area here. They just haven't noticed me. Bunch of people. Well, we could try stealthing it. We could. <laughs> we just want the data. You guys want to talk about it? Talk about where the data is? I know you guys love doing that. It's in the bottom, though. The guy himself isn't here anymore, is my understanding. Uh, 
Got to be careful in case if there's more guys. Are there really only three guys in here? Four guys? I don't trust that. We gotta find a laptop. 55. Oh no. There's no 55 again. Might have messed up. Might have messed up. Got it. In the end. Look! There's another guy right next to him. Oh, it's a joy toy. Okay. Is the laptop in the basement? There is a basement. Why- why is this guy watching TV with a joy toy? Is that what you hire her for? Guys, one laptop. We've got this over here. Something wrong. Dude, you're watching TV upstairs! Are you si Oh my god. You are ruining everything. I was gonna get that. This is not how I thought this was gonna go. Now I just got like one more this. guy here, for no reason. I think I'll just wait till he leaves. You're in yep. deep shit! I, I couldn't grab him! I couldn't grab him! We're fine. That's what you get for not watching TV! Yo, just go watch TV with your joy toy, okay? What the hell? Feel happy now? I was only gonna kill those two guys, but no, everybody- Lady, don't stand on the table. That's bad manners. Labyrinth. Oh, that's the um, scorpion's poem. Yeah. Data bank. Sarah Dor Sandra Dorset. Did she say not to read it? I kind of remember that. Which one is her? Sandra Dorset, the chick you pulled out of a scab's nest? Man, give someone an inch and they take a mile. This data bank must be pretty special to her, if she ain't even willing to go through a fixer. Well, now I'm kinda curious. Gonna help out, or play by the rules of the game? Now we gotta look at it, right? We gotta look at it! Oh, I- oh shoot, I forgot the name of the thing. Well, maybe let's get the other one first, hold on. We'll decide in a sec. Oh my freaking god. Oh shoot, he's- Who would've thought? Oh, he's right here! Corpo or not, without Chrome, we all look like the same idiotic, bullet-ridden sacks of meat. Uh. Not the laptop. Treatment summary. Just medical summaries? Rose Horrigan! Shoulder replacement, right eye thermograph. Right forearm mounting plate, smart weapons link. Rose Horrigan was... a patient here. Remember her? That was the lady we saw back in Rancho Coronado, whose sister took her in, but she was... having a lot of symptoms of cyberpsychosis. Charles Bucks. 
gentlemen. Because I valued our long-standing cooperation, I mean no disrespect when I ask, what the actual fuck? Did you really think I wouldn't notice four missing leaders of... Flinitrazepam? Yes, yes. Check the difficult word on the canister you clipped from me. If either of you were too dumb to drink any of it already, then I'm writing to two corpses right now. If you already sold it on the black market, then it'll be back in my office the day after tomorrow, and your boss will not be pleased with this entrepreneurial streak of yours, which again, means I'm writing to two corpses. Still, if you're reading this now, you might still have a chance to keep breathing. Return the flunitrazepam immediately, or I'll be seeing you on my table soon. Don't fuck with me again. Charles Bucks. The Ripper Doc is Charles Bucks? For Sandra Dorset's thingy, if we're good at hacking, maybe there's a way we can read it without her knowing about it. Could we do that, maybe? Ugh. Hey! Where'd you come from? Was just downstairs. Oh! Wanna talk about this? I... don't know what you saw there. I... don't go down there. I don't know anything. They forced me. I'm their hostage. Said if I try to escape, I'd be next on the table. I swear. <laughs> so much bullshit. Remember this guy? We came in through that door before, and then we couldn't go in here. You. Time's kinda tight here. <laughs> Read your mail. Know what's up. Well, uh, maybe? Could I interest you in a discount? Everything. On everything. A discount? For what? Pretending I don't know how you supply your parts? Y yeah, yes. Mm -hmm. I especially felt bad for Rose Horrigan, so no. Even able to look yourself in the mirror? No. Fuck you. I, I understand. Yes. C could you wait here a minute? No. There's something I'd like to show you. Where did... Ah, uh, I couldn't keep Panam. It's ready. Would you like I don't to drive? Wanna die. Can't now, Panam. Swing around as soon as I can. Sure, we'll be waiting. Panam, leave. I. Run! That was well worth it. Well worth it. I just lost a Ripper Dock, but there was twenty billion in the city. I didn't even know Rose Horgan, you know? But this guy was being such a squirrely weirdo, okay? He was like, um, uh, just a sec, let me, let me show you this. And I hated it, so, there you go. There you go. Panam, you really, ugh, you picked a really bad time for this. So can we kill Ripper Dogs permanently then? As we've seen here, seems like it. Now, can I take a look at that shard and probably get Sandra Dorset really mad at me. Which one it'll be... where would it be? Technology? We've read this one. Why don't they have a way to differentiate which ones you've read and which ones you have, haven't? I know it says new here, but that's not good enough, you know? I mean when you pick it up. Oh, this one. Operation Carpe Noctum. Ah, uh, well... Let's give it a go. Copy malware. Or get a bunch of stuff from it. Copy malware, I guess, is the biggest one that we would want. Whatever's in it. 55. 1C. FF. 55. BD, E9, 55. Operation Carpe Noctum for Night Corp internal use only. 
The tests have come back successful. The artificial intelligence CN07 has proven itself capable of bypassing commercial, device-specific, and macro security systems accessible to Knight Corp employees of the lowest ranks. None of the test subjects were aware that this experiment was being conducted on them. In compliance with the orders it was given, CN07 focused mostly on subject HK13, which at the time of the experiment's commencement was classified as calm and empathetic. After a period of subliminal conditioning, as we predicted, HK13 began to display acute psychopathic behavior. The highlight was a dispute over coffee, during which HK13 strangled one of their colleagues, then jumped out of the 16th floor window of the research facility. We will soon commence the next phase of the procedure and install CN07 onto the devices of our actual target. An AI? AI talking to people? HK13. The police are still angry at me, so we'll just chill out here a bit. I think they're right above me. Oh, they're gone. Cyberware usage and its side effects. Now we gotta call Sandra Dorset. So many people want my attention. Sandra Dorset's been sitting here for like 20 years. There's no BD. Fifty-five, one C, seven A, one C. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, bunch of dead gonks here. We don't need any of this. Sandra. Oh, Mitch. Four emails from Mitch or texts. My goodness. Did Sandra want the text or a call? Where's Sandra? Oh, I guess she wants a call. Where is she? Oh, at the very bottom. Find the data bank? Someone's back in tip top shape. Trauma must have put you back together in no time. Yep. Good as new. Still, if not for you, wouldn't have been anything left to put back together. Never got the chance to thank you properly. Wasn't there someone else with you? Big guy? Whenever you get a chance, tell him I said thanks. Hmm. Uh, Jackie's, um, Sure, I'll pass it on. Knowing Jackie, though, he'd probably take that as his cue to ask for your number and call you up for a date. But that'll never happen because he... Jackie, um... Never mind. Sure you got a lot on your plate. Is everything okay? Sure, yeah, of course. So, did you find my data bank? Right to the chase, huh? Well, you'll never guess where I found it. A scav hunt. Would she really never guess that? Sandra, you there? Yeah, it's just that. Well, ever since they told me what happened, I just can't stop seeing them. Yeah. I figured they must have had it. But, you know, it's not like I was going to go looking for it myself after. <sighs> I keep telling myself it's over. The ones who took me are gone. Listen. You've got Trauma Team Platinum. You couldn't be in better hands. I'm sure they already fixed the Sig Jammer exploit. True. But who knows what the scabs will cook up next time? <laughs> anyway, that's all in the past now. Got bigger fish to fry. You wanna talk about it? It's nothing. Just bring the data bank to my apartment. Sending you the address now. Thanks. To your apartment personally? I did read it. So I'm not sure if that's going to come into play. I'm pretty sure she said not to read it. Kabuki hit! To Merc 
Mm, hit our place in Kabuki. Came for door set and walked out over my brother's back. Oh my god. Ask the neighbors and they say it was a big Tino and young poser piece of shit. Oh, it's me. It's me. Me and Jackie. You know anyone in the afterlife? Ask around. I want names. This isn't over. Remember our old vet? New record, motherfucker. Well, I beat your record! 260 pounds of chrome ripped out of one guy, some techie coming off his shift in Arroyo. Every step he took left a fucking crater in the sidewalk, he was so heavy. Well, I put a stop to that. Good citizen I am. Don't want him trashing our infrastructure, haha. <laughs> and that means you owe me a cold one. Let me know when you want to hit the bars. This whole thing was a scavenger operation. And the Ripper Dock was a part of it, so I don't feel bad at all for killing him. Yeah, one thing I've really been enjoying in Cyberpunk... Oh, thank you for giving me the access to whatever... <laughs> now! <laughs> one thing I've been really enjoying is the freedom to just not have to be the nice guy all the time. Because so far, as far as I can see, there's not really consequences for it. And when there's no consequences for things, that's when people's true selves get shown, you know? Deep inside. Actually, I just want to kill a bunch of people. <laughs> Oh, freaking! I forgot about Delamain. Delamain, uh, I'll come back for you, okay? Sometime. Completely forgot about it after. Oh, because uh, Sandra was closer, so I walked away from Delamain. That's right. Sandra seems to live pretty close by too. Let's see. I'm not sure if I understood the implications of what that thing was talking about though. AIs and stuff? She's uh, she's pretty rich. She works with Night Corp. And she has a platinum subscription to Trauma Team, so she's gotta be rich. Maybe even higher up than I was, back when I was at Arasaka. I miss my privileges. I don't have any anymore. Do I gotta like dash more often to get some experience. What the hell happened behind me? Guys! Follow the rules of the road. Can I help you with anything? No. Know what I'm looking for. That sounds kind of dodgy. Okay. Sandra? Yeah, I guess we're meeting her. Just uh, a little bit worried here, as we haven't seen her before in person since the very, very beginning. What? Why didn't she tell me to bring it to a drop point? Maybe because the data is really sensitive? She might be able to tell I looked at it though. You know, I thought Sandra Dorset would live at a nicer place. This place seems pretty... run-of-the-mill. Like, a little bit cleaner than where Judy and I live, but not too much more. Anything weird going on around here? I'm the only thing weird going on around here. <laughs> Is that what I usually look like? I'm just kind of controlling the camera in my brain. Three points. Sandra! It's me, V! Got your data bank. Sandra! You in there? Are you alone? Did anyone follow you? What does it look like? Come on! Don't, like, leave the door open. Still worried about the scavs? My, uh, friend told me your memory'd be scraped clean. The scavengers? No, I'm worried about... Um, n no, it doesn't matter. You bring the data bank? I did. Whoa, her place is pretty nice. Not like what it looks like outside at all. Nice place you got here. Tasteful. Thanks. Yeah, do you mind if I just have a look around? 
Oh, is that like her journal? That's kind of... And hey, she's a samurai fan. Entry 36. Weird. It looks like a non-42 was right after all. I recently found a previously uncharted section of the net out in the boonies, even though I'd already been there maybe 20 odd times. I guess you can only access it with the right parameters. It only cost me a week of sleepless nights, but I finally finished the Leviathan and punched through the section undetected. At least, I think. Good thing too, because it turns out a non-42 sick the Night Corp servers against me. I really should just take a break, quit the net for a few months. But those files did look really suspicious. Are we talking about the same files here? Got a very... Japanese-y room going on. Jesus, those files. Maybe I should have just left them alone. Each of them could be a puppet without even realizing it. And those flights to the moon? What are they cooking up there? Was it human DNA or... I couldn't run a thorough scan. I only had time to break through one folder's ICE. Either way, I'm pretty sure they flagged me. Can't tell if it was an unmasking demon or their dweller. Oh, so she looked at the files too. Doesn't sound like she works at Night Corp then. Maybe she stole it from them as well. Your kitchen looks really nice. Just checking it out. They're watching me. And not just on the net. Some shady looking types followed me all the way to work today. When I finally worked up the nerve to turn around and face them, they vanished. Maybe I'm just paranoid, but I think they were speaking Russian. I'm starting to get a little freaked out. I can tell she's freaked out. That is a... that's a gigantic turret in the middle of a room. And not even because of the scabs too. Mm, but I feel like the scabs were such a traumatic experience that... Even if your memory was supposedly wiped, maybe your body would remember a little bit of the trauma. If it's not the scabs you're worried about, then who? Look, I didn't pay you to come here and ask me personal questions. Hey, you mentioned it. Besides, I saved your life. That isn't worth anything. It was worth whatever you got paid. Don't pretend I wasn't just another small-time job for you. Now, did you bring the data bank? It was a job for me, but it's nice knowing that your job involves saving somebody as opposed to killing somebody. Like, caring about you is not mutually exclusive to it being a job. Give me something to work with here. Hey. She's got a bounty on her. It feels like she's gonna attack me any moment because of that little thing. Here. Don't worry, it's completely intact. When someone tells me not to worry, it usually means they're hiding something. You wouldn't happen to have seen what's inside, would you? I think she can probably tell very easily if I did or not. She seems to be like a super hacker. Give me something to work with here. All right, you got me. I looked inside. I know everything. That's what I thought. So what's your next move? Congratulate her. To congratulate you, of course. Anyone who hacks Night Corps earned my respect. Oh. Well, I, um, thank you. You know, if they end up going through with it, then... The net will become even more dangerous. You were worried they'd find out about you. Exactly. Nerd talk? Night Corps secured up the ass. Can't just upload the usual blackout and fire shaft. You must have whipped up some angry demons. You zip them up in an imp? Yeah, Leviathan. Even Cerberus isn't enough if you want to punch through that kind of corpo ice. Use an AGI to condition workers' minds. Mm, that's some supervillain shit right there. Not just workers. Anyone. That's the scariest part. You've been a big help. Here. I threw in a little extra, for a fellow runner. It's good to be reminded I'm not in this fight alone. Thanks. Synapse burnout. Be seeing you. Thank you. She is not really what I thought she would be like, actually. I thought she was gonna be like a rich snobby type. But no, she is fighting the good fight too. Alright, cool. This house is nice, but it feels a little bit artificial 
And all- there's like no- All the windows are barred. Cause she's scared. That's why. Not even of the scabs either, she's just... Scared. Of being tracked. Understandably so. Even if you don't remember though, and even if your body doesn't relive any trauma of what happened, I feel like it's really scary that, you know, you're, you wake up in the hospital, and then suddenly, the people there are like, Hey miss, uh, you probably won't remember this, but for the past six hours, some scavengers knocked you out and stole a bunch of implants from your body. Like, that just feels so violating that I don't know how you would deal with that psychologically. Alright. That is one thing complete. 